miserable Chicago Bears season is almost over. So much pain! So much pain! Yo, what's up, world? Welcome back to the channel, APW Sports, signing in. And this is the final Chicago Bears preview of this 2022-2023 season. The misery of this bear season is almost over. And to think this team hasn't won a game since October 24th, that's over three months ago, that's crazy. That, that, I, that, that is blasphemous. That is blasphemous. But nonetheless, this is the last preview of the bear season. The Bears are in their final home contest. The Bears sit at 3-13, and, and they host the Minnesota Vikings. that sit sitting 12-4 that still have a ton of play for. So this ball game, does the Bears have any chance to win this? Make sure you guys stay towards the end. And as always, I ask you guys to vote who will win this game between the Bears and the Vikings. And 78% of you, Pick the Minnesota Vikings with over 2,500 votes. Do I agree or disagree? Stay tuned towards the end so you will find out. But before I talk about this last Bears game of the season against the Minnesota Vikings, make sure you guys leave this video a like as it continues to help this channel to grow and to beast the YouTube algorithm. And if you are not subscribed, go ahead, click the sub button and notification bell down below so you will not miss any of my content. But... It's time to talk about the Bears versus the Vikings. Without further ado, let's dab into it. into this ball game the bears offense ranks 23rd in points per game with 19.6 they're still the dead last passing team with 129 yards a game but they still rank first in rushing with 181 yards a game they're going up against the vikings defense that ranks 31st in points per game with 27.1 they are the one of the dead last passing defenses in the league they're ranked 31st with 273 yards a game and they are the 20th team against the rush with 123 yards a game. Now, coming into this ball game, this Bears offense is going to look dramatically different because Justin Fields has been ruled out with a hip injury. And we all know, as this Bears offense goes, Justin Fields goes with it. And without Justin Fields, I don't see this Bears offense really doing too much against the Minnesota Vikings defense led by Harrison Smith, led by a guy like Dalvin Tomlinson up front, Zadarius Smith, Patrick Peterson, Eric Kendricks. This Vikings defense is a very good defense. You're going up against the Bears offense without the element of Justin Fields. Nathan Peterman is now the starting quarterback for the Bears this week. And I don't really see this Bears offense doing much in the passing game, especially with a very good secondary like the Minnesota Vikings have. And especially with the element of the running ability of Justin Fields eliminated in this ball game. And then on top of that, you have injuries to the Bears offensive line. Tevin Jenkins is on IR. You got a guy like Alex Leatherwood that probably could see some time. Larry Bourne may see some time. This Bears offensive line at this point is still a mess and it's still a huge, huge shuffle at this point. So I'm going to easily give the advantage to the Vikings defense in this one. And then when you talk about the Vikings offense, they're going up against the Bears defense that is extremely young. Bears defense has dropped to dead last in points per game with 27.1. They have 14th against the pass, so they're still a little bit above average with 210 yards a game. But they're one of the bottom ranked defenses with the odd number 158.3, which is odd because there's a quarterback ranking that's perfect but they're going up against the vikings offense that is eighth in points per game with 27 with 24 excuse me they're going up against the vikings offense that is fifth in passing with 258.9 yards but the vikings are one of the bottom ranked running teams in football 
I don't think they're going to last as one of the bottom ranked run teams in football, especially when you're going against the Bears defense that has been unable to stop the run all season long. You have the elements of Dalvin Cook and Alistair Edna Madison who can really get some things done in the running game for the Minnesota Vikings. The Bears front four, Gibson, Pinnell, Jones, and Robinson. I don't think they're going to get much done. Jalen Jones is out. Kyle Gordon is still questionable. So Justin Jefferson, I think, is going to have a big day. Adam Thielen is probably going to have a big day against the banged-up Bears secondary without Jalen Johnson and already without Jalen Jones. So I don't really see the Bears defense having that much of pushback against the Minnesota Vikings. So I'm going to make this video short and sweet. I'm not going to get too much in depth because – I don't really see the Bears winning this ball game. So, obviously, that gives my pick away. I am going to pick the Minnesota Vikings to win this ball game. The Bears have too many injuries. They have too much inexperience against a very good Minnesota Vikings team that still has a ton to play for. This Vikings team already has the division locked up, but can possibly still be in play a little bit for the number one seed depending on what happens with philly and dallas so this vikings team is coming into this ball game with a lot to play for the bears have too many injuries being without justin fields is going to drop them chances even more so i think the vikings are going to win this game and they are going to win this game probably easily and i'm going to pick the minnesota vikings to win 31 to 10 in soldier field but that is all I have for you guys today. Make sure you guys leave this video a like as it continues to help this channel to grow. Make sure you comment your thoughts down below. Do the Bears have any chance to win this ball game? I say no. But if you guys think anything different, I don't know why would you think anything different. But if you do, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, if you have gotten to this point, make sure you click the sub button and notification bell so you will not miss any of the videos that I post. But... This is the last preview of this bear season. Actually, thank God for that one. Make sure you guys stay safe. Have a great and excellent day. APW Sports signing out. Bear down. Peace. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game.